Well, welcome back to the Timeline Ranch. It's a beautiful day. I'd like to talk about the water system setup I'm going to have here when it's all completed and building water resilience into your homestead. So the ranch is in an exceptional drought right now. This is the pond. You can see it's empty. I've been digging on this thing for nine years now. A little at a time when I had the machine out here and the opportunity to. So how my system works, water sheds off this mountain, runs down the creek. This is the main creek that feeds the pond. Fills the pond, it overflows out of the spillway, which was the original portion of the creek. And I, I built a little leaky weir here to hold a little bit more water for about a week or so until it you know, slowly drains out of that. So the water from the pond filters through a gravel bed into this old fashioned style well that I made. It's about 30 foot of trench that has a, a bed of gravel about three feet deep, four feet wide. It's a mix of gravel and sand. Pools in the bottom of that well, and then later, I haven't done it yet, but I'll have an electric pump that'll pump water up to a dome structure that will house two 600 gallon tanks. There's a this little red pump here that's another way to get water out of the well which I have been using of course now the water is down so low that the pickup on the pump doesn't work so I have to pump it out with a little submersible to utilize the water that's in there I haven't done it yet but I'm going to build an underground tank about 30,000 gallons so during the time when the pond has plenty of water I'll pump water from the well into that tank and that'll be my water reserve for you know real dry spell. I'll also have gutter system on this little building here to catch rainwater and direct it into that tank. It'll have an overflow that just dumps back into the pond when that tank's full. So that's going to be my water system. Basically the rainwater runs down off this mountain, fills the pond, Filters through the gravel bed and the well. From the well, I can pump it into that storage tank, that 30,000 gallon storage tank. But I'll also have that 600 gallon tank at the ridge, and that'll be my, you know, establish my water pressure. That's the most useful way to, to you know, use your pump. This is pump it up one time to fill that 600 gallon tank and then let gravity do the, the trick instead of the pump kicking on and off, on and off to try to maintain that water pressure in your lines. I've got more water that comes into the pond from this little ridge here. There's a little, I call it the North Creek that runs into it. Later I'll build a second pond. I'm gonna call it the Upper Pond, which during the day when I have excess power from the solar, I'll pump water up to it. And then at night have a hydroelectric building as I need the power, I can turn that on and you know get extra power as needed. That'll kind of be my battery bank. But that'll also, I'm hoping over time, establish a little spring from that water being that much higher, uh, filtering through all those rock crevices. And hopefully I'll have a spring develop over time. We'll see. It'll take some years to find, find out if that's gonna happen or not. So that's the setup I have here for water resilience at the Timeline Ranch. I'm still working on it as you can see, but I think it's worth the time to do it this way instead of having paying all that money. You know, I could pay up to $80,000 for a deep well that works and there's no guarantee that the well driller is even going to hit water after you pay for a hole in the ground to be drilled. So I'd rather put my money into this. I think it's going to be a overall better system of course it's relying on rainwater but i think if you put enough resilience as far as water storage built into it everything will work out well i'll see you on the next one